isolation and is said to have separated herself from friends and family. Like the life she lived, her work showed similar themes of isolation. Growing up poor with ten siblings, her economic class had a great influence on her works. Most notably, her novel Wuthering Heights displays the many Victorian age themes that were present in her life, such as her isolation, her economic loss, and the industrialization around her. Plagued by many tragedies in her life, Bronte began to write darker and darker. Her poems would extend the Victorian period themes to a great extent and would eventually be the basis for works done during this time. Robert Browning was born on May 7, 1812, in London, and died December 12, 1889, in Italy. He was famous for the dramatic monologue. His poems were known for irony, characterization, dark humor, social commentary, historical settings, challenging vocabulary, and syntax. In 1846, he married Elizabeth Barrett, and they were one of history's most famous literary couples. His work was somewhat revolutionary in that he challenged the social norms of the time. The Victorian era affected him in that the imperialism, invention, man's place in the world, and repression of sexuality struck inspiration. He embraced the unknowing and presented varying opinions. Some of his poems were focused on the Victorian era's strict view of sexual activity and a woman's place in the world. He viewed the harsh social standards to be harmful to both women and men. In his poems, he also countered the idea of social Darwinism, which justified the imperialism of this time. Brown wavered between exploring life without religion and the contrary, life in unison with the glory of God. Dickens was born February 7, 1812 and died June 9, 1870. He was very influenced by Shakespeare. He was an advocate for child law, labor laws and helped protect children because of the mistreatment that he had when he was younger and of the labor laws that were in effect when he was um, working. Uh, he was influenced by the Victorian era because people began reading his books and realizing that he was referring to the period. Also, the themes that he had in his works were society and the mistreatment of children and darkness, which affected the mistreatment of children. And the Victorian era changed, I think, because of him due to his, re his books and how important they are. Janet Hamilton was a 19th century Scottish poet who was born on October 12, 1795 and died October 27, 1873. Having never left her birthplace by a few miles, Janet carries the representation of the working class woman in her work. Coming from the working class, Janet writes about many issues that challenge the class as a whole and even uses one of her volumes of poetry to her brothers, the men of the working class. Hamilton was, as hard, was a hard worker herself. She taught herself to read and held a p passion for learning. She also had a job at the tambour frame, which shows the change of the role of a woman in the Victorian era. Despite being from the working class, she saw an importance in the value of education and taught all 10 of her children to read and write. Her works included the change of her town due to industrialization, which was a large theme in the Victorian period. She also uses her poems to address the social problems going on in her community and country and to address environmental change. Hamilton's poem, Or Location, is a prime example of the effects of industrialization on her town. Her work showed society the importance of education and made people aware of social changes and issues that were occurring.